I'm Wayne Bushfield. We uh, live just north of Calgary, Alberta, and I'm a farmer, I guess. Taught Audubon as a seat for 30 years and, and uh, been farmed my whole life also. Uh, my background is in uh, nuclear medicine, radiology, and a PhD in biomedical engineering. The nuclear medicine as a field has always had a tremendous amount of potential to really advance treatment. Uh, unfortunately, at the time of my retirement, my planned retirement, just before, I found out that I was diagnosed with prostate cancer. Obviously, being a physician, I did a lot of research on options for my situation. The, the folks that we have here are very interested in helping people have a nice, just a nice warm, positive experience while they're often going through the most difficult period of their lives. Right now we're getting patients referred to us for prostate scans from all over Canada, certainly Western Canada. If we can identify that they've got cancers that uh, we can target, we then bring the patient in and just simply set up an intravenous. The material will target itself, sort of just like when you eat food, you don't have to worry about where the food's going. It basically figures it out internally. Each of the specialists that I encountered all agreed, if I could have it and make it available, Plevicto lutetium would be my absolute best option and I would be an excellent candidate for it to be successful in my case. And I think the fundamental problem about, of nuclear medicine is that very few people realize it exists as a thing. Nuclear medicine, like many branches of medicine, exists for two things. One is to diagnose disease and second is to treat disease. So the way we diagnose disease is through injecting material that seeks out a particular organ or a particular process. It emits a little photon that we can capture with sensors outside the body. By analogy, radiology sort of shoots a beam through the body, whereas we're interested in capturing escaping light. So we sort of turn the body into a kind of a lantern and we're able to see what's going on inside of that lantern. And so then we did some research into the States for starters and as well as Australia and Germany, which we had no inclination to go to whatsoever. It just seemed too, too far away and too different. So what's valuable about the clinic here is the fact that it's actually taken the initiative to do this, really targeting the problematic cells in the body and leaving the good cells uh, alone. It actually has a lot of potential to really transform cancer treatment. And, and that's what this clinic is doing, which is outstanding for patients, because at the end of the day, we will all be a patient one day, and so if we don't stand up as physicians to say what we need and what we want, who will? I was ready to um, go to Germany to get this treatment when I got a call from the program that I had applied in Canada. And they told me about this clinic here in Burnaby, British Columbia, and that they would be the first clinic in Canada with availability for exactly what I needed. Right now within BC, uh, within the public system, there are four PET scanners. So there's two in downtown Vancouver, one in Victoria and one in Kelowna. The fifth scanner is just down the hall here in Burnaby. Therefore, we represent 20% of the PET CT scanning capacity in the province of British Columbia. We're really happy to be in Canada rather than have to travel overseas or even in the United States. And it's just nicer to be at home. These technologies have been around for years, if not decades. Particularly surgical oncologists who have to make a critical decision, right? If this hasn't spread yet, I can potentially cure it if I can get it all in a surgery. So they need to know now whether this is a surgical candidate before metastatic tumors have spread and then cure is no longer possible. The revolution that we're going to see here with cancer therapy is going to be very similar to what we saw in the 1950s with the antibiotic revolution in infectious disease. Now I'm a proud Canadian, I'm a proud Toronto Maple Leaf fan and clearly that was like a breath of fresh air to know that I get a drug in a place I could trust but the availability in my own home country was really a, a huge relief for me. Yeah, the front desk, the staff a bit good, we are here for a, a scan and um, treated well everywhere we went, very friendly and helpful. Hopefully that'll give us some more time together and uh, going on a hope and a prayer, I guess, at this point. Mantra is that we see what we treat and we treat what we see. From the first phone call, 
it was all positive and it was going in the direction I wanted to be able to get lutetium here and, and here we are today.